All right, guys, uh, welcome to uh, week two. Uh, in this week, we've got a lot of great stuff we're going to be going over, um, a, a lot of things to create. We're going to start getting into more of the creation uh, of content using different tools, resources, things of that nature. So, so it's going to be pretty cool. So you definitely want to make sure that you're following suit, following all the instructions in this series of videos because it's definitely going to help you. And uh, But first... Let's talk about uh, one of the one of the most important things when, in terms of marketing online, when marketing your brand, uh, and, and that is uh, a domain name. Having several domain names, you know, for your business, if not just one. Uh, I have like a ton of different domain names that I use for all kinds of lead capture pages, all kinds of opportunities, products, services, you name it. Um, especially if I'm marketing something very uh, well. Let me just kind of back up. If if, if I'm going to market something very heavily, um, I typically don't want to use the domain name that the company or the affiliate company gives me. I want to use my own domain name. Uh, therefore, I can, you know, separate myself from all the other affiliates or reps or what have you. Um, so this, this is what this video is going to be, you know, going to be, uh, going to be about is talking about the importance of a domain name. So, so I guess getting started, what is a domain name? Uh, so let's just kind of talk about that really quick. So the definition of a domain name is, uh, a name owned by a person or organization and consisting of an alphabetical or alphanumeric sequence followed by a suffix like a .com, .net, .org, what have you used as an internet address to identify uh, the location of a particular web website or web pages. Um, for example, can I give you an example here? Uh, like google.com, uh, facebook.com, those are domain names, right? And, uh, uh, and, and we probably see those all over the place, all over the internet, all over the marketplace. Everybody's using domain names, right? So here's the thing though. Uh, domains for your business can be sometimes a little bit different. Typically, if you're in business right now, if you're in some type of network marketing company, if you're uh, promoting some type of affiliate product or service or what have you, uh, they, the company usually gives you a domain name for, for customers, potential customers to actually buy your product, your service, uh, or whatever, or join your business, whatever. Right. And it typically looks something like this. It, it looks like a you know, your company name.com forward slash your rep ID number or something or whatever coming after the forward slash, right? Sometimes it's even, I've seen it to where they have the, the rep username or ID in front. So it's like rep ID dot whatever the company name is.com. So there's multiple ways. I see a lot of companies doing it, um, which is, there's nothing wrong with, with pro using those links to, to be able to share your opportunity, share your business share your product services. The only thing is when you are using that particular web address to promote your business, you look like everybody else. Uh, matter of fact, typically, uh, in, in most cases, not in all, but most companies that are, that, that have some type of opportunity or whatever, they'll have their name of the company in the, in the domain name, right? So if you're promoting something or what have you, uh, and a lot of times you want to promote or market your business to create curiosity. And a lot of times it's kind of hard to um, create that curiosity when they see your domain name and they know exactly what the company is. So maybe they've already seen it before. Maybe other people have already hit them up, what have you, but they haven't seen it coming from your perspective. So it kind of, sometimes it can kind of hurt your business. So what I always like to do is use a different domain name. Can we kind of give you an example? So, so again, that's not really a good strategy here using those particular domain names. So right now you probably got a company name forward slash and some series of numbers and letters or whatever after that. And guess what? Everybody else in your company has the exact same type of domain name. So now you look like everybody else. So it's really not a good strategy to use those domain names when you're trying to promote something big, right? And uh, so you really want to do something like this. So here's, here's a better strategy. How about getting a domain name and using like your first and last name? Let's say, for example, johndoe.com. You can use that. Uh, work with John uh, John likes this.com. A lot of times you can put, you know, you put your name in it. And sometimes you can even use domain names that might even have the, the name of the company in there. Maybe the abbreviation of the company in there. Um, you know, a mixture of that with your name or what have you, because it's all about 
you know, creating that level of attraction, making yourself look like the expert. Remember, because the company, they really don't need you to brand them. They've already been branded. You need to brand yourself because a lot of times people, people don't join businesses, they join people. So you, you really want to create that, that, um, that presence that you're the person that they need to join when it comes to this business. And one thing that can definitely help push that brand along is having your own domain name. Okay. So, um, let me move on to the next, next page here. So forwarding your domain name, let me explain what that means. So let's say for example, you, you got your domain name, right? And you called it John Doe.com, right? You know, uh, it could be your first, last name. It could be whatever, right? Uh, just as something, as long as it's something different, something unique. A lot of times it, that could be you, you're unique, right? Uh, it could be some type of saying, some type of phrase, really whatever, just something that sets you apart from everybody else. You don't want to be like everybody else. You don't want to promote the same type of links like everybody else. You want to be a little bit different, right? So for example, if you have that particular domain name, what you want to do, and typically with the different types of, um, you know, domain name providers out there, gives you the ability to forward your domain name to different websites. For example, so you could take that johndoe.com. So anytime someone types in johndoe.com or whatever your domain name is that you created, it can actually forward to whatever your company link is. So for example, in this example here, you see this is my domain name that I purchased. And typically you can buy domain name from a lot of different places uh, from anywhere from six bucks to you know, 12 or $13, right? You know, so they're, they're very, very inexpensive and, and they're good for a whole year. And then you can renew, you know, after 12 months for a whole another year, so on and so forth. So very, very simple, very, very affordable. That's why I, ha I have hundreds of domain names right now. Um, and that's over years of, of marketing, but um, just a lot of different things. I like to be very unique. I like to be different. So for example, here, you can use that johndoe.com and forward. So anytime someone types that in, I can set it up in my back office, or my, wherever, wherever I bought my domain name from, I can go into the back office and tell the system, which will basically tell the internet, if anybody types in this website here, it's going to automatically forward them to whatever my product, service, opportunity, whatever it is, right? And that's really what you want. So that's, so if you ever wonder, well, how are people able to have a certain type of cool domain domain name and it goes to the company website well i have a domain name that goes to the company website but it's so long sometimes people ask me well what's your website and i have to say well it's you know www dot whatever my company name is dot com forward slash rep number one two three four five it's just too much it's too much guys you want to be hey well what's your website uh just go to steverachel.com or just go to whatever doc. You see, you see what I'm saying? It's just a much easier conversation when you could just just rattle off something really, really easy for somebody to remember. Very easy uh, once they get to their phone or once they get to a computer to actually access the information, right? So again, so the purpose, the main purpose of a domain name is to brand you and to make your internet presence different from everyone else's. You wanna you wanna stand out, okay? That's what this whole program, this whole training is all about is to help you stand out amongst the rest and not be the same like everybody else. So creating your own domain name is pretty easy, guys. What we're gonna be doing in, in Back to the Basics, one, you're gonna need to create a, a primary, a, a domain name for your primary business. So whatever your MLM is, whatever your affiliate, whatever whatever it is that you're promoting outside of My Lead System Pro, um, you're gonna need to create a domain name for that, okay? It could be your name, it could be a mixture of your name and your company. It could be a mixture of a saying or something or whatever, something that's kind of unique to your business or whatever it is, right? Just make it different from everybody else, right? That's the main thing. Make it different from everybody else. But remember, you know, you are the main product. That's that's one thing that a lot of, a lot of people miss a lot of times. You are the main product. So, but what we're going what I'm going to need you to do is to create a domain name for your primary business, okay? We, we're we're going to go into setting it up in terms of the forwarding and all that a little bit later in, in, in some of the other videos in this week's course, uh, training videos. Uh, but right now, I just want you to create one. What's the cost? Yeah, it depends, six bucks, 12 bucks, $13, whatever. So, But you're going to need one for your primary business. And you're going to also need one for your MLSP account, right? So, um, for example, if you have your primary business, you can give it your name. If you have an MLSP account, I've got... I've, purchase different domain names, you know, stevegetsleads.com, 
you know, stuff like that, you know, because anything related around MSP is all about lead generation. Remember, you're trying to be the expert. You're trying to be the go-to person in, in terms of knowing where to, where to go to get the best information and resources about building your business online. So you can kind of, you know, you know, connect a domain name, something along those lines, but you can definitely do it however you want to, but just be unique. So you really need two domain names and where can you go? Just go to promoteyourbrand.net. It's going to take you to GoDaddy uh, where you can actually purchase your GoDaddy uh, domain name. And, uh, and again, you'll be able to see exactly how it works. Really, really cool process. Really, really simple. For example, uh, let me, uh, so again, just go to promoteyourbrand.net. That's again, promoteyourbrand.net. And you'll be able to see, I think there's a link or somewhere about around here as well. And uh, just to kind of show you exactly how, what that looks like. So let me close this out. So if I go to... Uh, GoDaddy. So when you when you when you actually go to promoteyourbrand.net, it's going to take you here. And then right here in this field right here, guys, just put in whatever your domain name. Matter of fact, you know, if you typed in your name, um, matter of fact, I think this one's already taken. I already have a stevenrachel.com. But if I search for that domain name, it's probably going to say it's already taken. Um, because I already have it using I'm using it on a different, different uh um you know, different website right now. So as, as you can see, stevenrachel.com is already taken. And then of course it gives you different options that you can use, of course. Uh, but if you, if you, if you don't like that, sometimes you can add like a, you know, maybe your, uh, your birth date or year or something. I mean, you, there's all kind of variations. I don't want to give you any ideas here, but cause it's really all about you and how you want to be represented in terms of your domain name online. So, so again, uh, GoDaddy is definitely the number one uh, domain provider out there on the planet. I've gotten tons and tons of domain names from these guys, and uh, they're they're very 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 good at what they do. Um, when you go through the process of buying your domain name, like for example, if I want to see Rachel.net, cost me like six ninety nine. All right, and uh, here's the thing: when you when you actually go through the process, they're going to try to upsell you on everything. You know, you don't have to use some of the extra stuff that they're going to try to mark you. You just hit no, no, no until you get to the checkout, and then just pay for whatever your domain name, you know, what whatever you want. So, uh, but, but if you see some of those services and you're like, Hey, I, I definitely want to use that. Definitely go right ahead. But I just always like to let people know, yeah, GoDaddy will definitely uh, try to upsell you on a lot. They have, they sell a lot of different types of online products. So, and services. So, so they always like to let people know what they have throughout the checkout process. But that's it for now, guys. Again, so what you're going to need to do before you move on to the next video, I would definitely make sure that some of you probably already have your own domain name or domain names. You probably already have some and that's great so you can definitely move on to the next video if you don't have one uh you definitely want to go ahead and um, um definitely want to go ahead and purchase one so you can because you're going to need that a little bit later uh because again my job is to help you to brand yourself because these things that we're doing here these are the things that matters if you're wanting long-term success online okay these little things like this makes a big difference long term for you and your business so that's the reason why I'm telling you to do this. So uh, it's all about you getting in place. A lot of you guys see a lot of things that I promote and I have like some kind of cool domain name attached to it. That's why, because I understand that it's all about setting myself apart from everybody else. So you definitely have to do, it's not even, you should do the same. You have to do the same type of strategy uh, to get the results that you're looking for in your online business world. So, so with that said, guys, again, go ahead and go to, you know, promote your brand.net, go there and you'll be able to, uh, you know, get your domain name, get that all set up. And, uh, and don't worry about trying to set up the forwarding and all that yet. Cause you're going to see some of that in uh, some of the other videos coming up. So with that said, guys, go and get your domain name and uh, get that, get that purchase, get that ready. And then I'll see you on the next video.